In this video, he says very dramatically, let's go and add some contract addresses to PancakeSwap. Now, let's remind ourselves, why would we even want to do this? Well, in the last video, when we looked at PancakeSwap, do you remember when I was conducting a search and I clicked on a little drop down? We'll go and do this in a second. There was only about 20 or so, wasn't there, uh, default cryptos that were shown. Uh, and there's thousands of cryptocurrencies. So if you want to purchase something and it's not shown by default in the drop down menu, that means we have to add the contract address first. So let's go and do that. Let's go back to PancakeSwap. And here we are. Let's hover over the trade link. Or let's rather click on the trade link at the top and this uh, window will appear. Let's click on swap and we're taken back to this area that we've seen before. So again, let's remind ourselves this is saying here we want to swap whatever we put in here and we want to purchase or swap it for whatever we put in here. We can click on either of these drop down menus. It doesn't matter. And the same window will, op will open. Let's do that. Uh, doing so, here's this window that we've seen before. So there's about, as I say, 20 or so default cryptocurrencies chosen here. Now let's imagine that we want to eventually purchase eShare. So eShare, is it shown here? No, it's not. What do we do? Well, there's a few things we can do. Firstly, we can just type in eShare. It's nice and easy. And look, here it is. It's sort of greyed out, but it's saying, do we want to import it? It's being imported from CoinMarketCap, which is absolutely fine. That's like CoinGecko, a very legitimate site. What this is doing is it's saying that PancakeSwap is going to pull in the contract address of eShare from CoinMarketCap. So long as it's coming from a legitimate source, then you're absolutely fine. So we could simply click import, and then we will see eShare in the drop-down menu. Let's do that. Now, we're being warned here. This is You'll always get a warning when you uh, add a contract address. It says, just be careful that people can create fake contract addresses. So make sure you know where this contract address is coming from. For example, if somebody knew what they were doing and they created an address, let's say, that was linked to their MetaMask wallet and you imported it and you bought what you thought was, in this case, something from that contract address, it would actually go straight to their MetaMask wallet. So we want to make sure that we're pulling in eShare, which we are. Uh, and this is fine. It's just warning us to be careful. Uh, let's click I understand. Let's import. And now, by default, it's selected up here. But if I click on this drop down menu again, and if we look in all the assets that we got, eShare will now be there. There it is. eShare is there. Great. Um, there's also another way of doing it. And that is by using the actual contract address itself, which we've done before. In fact, let's go and uh, let's go and do that. Let's go to let's go back to CoinGecko. And I'm just going to do, let's do EMP right now. So I'm going to type in EMP, EMP.money. There we go. Let's imagine we want to add this. Here's the contract address. Let me click on click to, to copy. Uh, now, I've actually already created a document with it here, but I'm just going to paste it in here just so you can show, see that it's exactly the same. So there we go. Look, I've just pasted it here. And it's the same as I had before. So I've now copied the contract address from in this play in, in this uh, example from CoinGecko. Now let me go back to PancakeSwap. Now if I click on either of these drop down menus, it doesn't matter which because we just want this window to open. I could now just paste in the contract address. Let me do that. And again, it's now saying, do we want to add in this case EMP? Let me click import. We'll be asked again, are you sure? There we go. We've seen this before. Click I understand. Import. Great, we've now imported eShare and now EMP. So both of those will now appear as our options. There's eShare, there's EMP. Um, another one that I don't think is there by default is Ethereum. I've already added Ethereum, but um, I believe that Ethereum may not be there by default. At least it never used to be. You used to have to also add the contract address. So what I'll do is I'll put the contract address of Ethereum. Here it is. I'll put it below this video along with the EMP and the eShare contract address. So if you don't see Ethereum, uh, when you click here and scroll down here, then you can add the contract address and then you will have added three tokens, Ethereum, eShare, and EMP. So now we can see at a glance these tokens if we want to purchase and swap and all that sort of good stuff. It's exciting, isn't it? OK, let's keep this short. Let's summarize. What did we accomplish in this video? Well, we understood, didn't we, that we may need to add the contract address of a particular crypto in order for us to search for it at PancakeSwap. And then you saw me do exactly this for eShare, for EMP and for Ethereum. Well, I didn't actually go and do it for Ethereum. It was already in my PancakeSwap. But if your Ethereum is not shown, then 
do that yourself. Go and add the Ethereum contract address. And I'll add all three of these contract addresses uh, below this video if you just want to copy and paste them like you saw me do. So what do you do now? Well, I want you to go and do this. I want you to go and add the contract address for Ethereum, for EMP, and for eShare to PancakeSwap. You only need to do this once, by the way. Once it's there, you don't need to do it every time you want to purchase any of these tokens. It will, it will be there forever. And uh, let me know in the comments below when you've done this. Because again, it's just another little 1% better that you're getting every day. You hadn't done this when you woke up this morning. Now you're adding contract addresses to PancakeSwap. You are getting 1% better I would say maybe 5%, 10% better every single day. So let me know in the comments below when you've done this. Let me know if you're feeling excited and empowered that you're learning about this. And then I'll see you in the next video.